At industrial facilities, certain equipment is subject to damage caused by wear and abrasions. An abrasion can slow or stop operations and increase damage over time. At Rima Tip Top, we have materials that we use to bring plantware compromised equipment back to working order. PR200 primer is used to precondition metal surfaces prior to rubber metal bonding with SC and BC series adhesives. PR200 is CFC free, has a short drying time, a two year shelf life, and a pot life of six hours. SC4000 is for bonding rubber to metal, rubber to rubber, or rubber to fabric, providing the highest bond strength. SC4000 is free of CFC and aromatics, has a two-year shelf life, and a pot life of two hours. BC3004, which is developed for rubber lining large surface areas and applications where extended drying time is desirable. BC3004 is free of CFC and aromatics, has a two-year shelf life, a pot life of six hours, and a six-hour tack time. Lastly, we use T2 for the filling of gaps and joints in rubber lining and lagging. T2 is an easy and fast application, simple to operate, and a cost-effective method of repair. Now, let's get to the process. When the wear-comprised equipment arrives, they are placed inside cleaning ovens. The cleaning oven removes worn coating from the piece of equipment. The next step is to sandblast the area to achieve a profile to the surface. The sandblast ensures a profiled and bondable surface. Now we apply PR200 primer to the surfaced area to help the adhesive stick to the steel. After applying primer and waiting an hour to dry, we mix SC4000 or BC3004 with the appropriate hardener, then apply the first coat to the same area. We roll out our premium bonding rubber and measure out the parameters of the compromised equipment. We cut the rubber to the appropriate measurements with an assortment of cutting and power tools. We buff the sides of the rubber to adhere to the T2 bonding system. Remaline 40 Orange is frequently used in abrasion applications for processing sand and gravel. In wet applications, this material has proven its outstanding worth against sharp particles thanks to its high resistance to tearing. Once we wait one hour for the first coat of SC4000 or BC3004 to dry, we apply SC4000 or BC3004 to the backside bonding layer of the rubber. Then we apply a second coat of SC4000 or BC3004 to the adhesive area. The second coat will be the adhesive factor for bonding the rubber to the metal surface. We apply the rubber to the surface area once both adhesives feel tacky. 
you can check for tackiness with the back of your finger. We clean the rubber after it's applied to the surface with Rima Selva. We trim the excess rubber and buff for a clean surface. We apply T2 to the sides of the rubber to fill in the gaps and voids. We stitch the T2 into the gaps and voids for a secure hold. This process leads to new and improved equipment with secure bonding and strengthened bonding layers.